Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So today we are not looking at a blockchain game, we're looking at a bit of blockchain infrastructure and we're looking at Loom Network. So Loom Network is a layer 2 uh, technology that works with Ethereum. So Ethereum is a main blockchain, has all the decentralization, all the security, the proof of work, all that kind of stuff. But it's fairly slow, so blocks take um, however many seconds it is to um, to close. It can go, uh, can be minutes, depending on um, how much um, traffic there is. Um, and sometimes you have to wait uh, multiple minutes in order to get confirmation um, that things have gone through properly. So useful for stuff like who owns a crypto kitty. Not so useful for if you want to put do gameplay um, on there. So stuff like uh, Loom, uh, also known as a side chain, um, is kind of uh, those technologies are kind of coming into 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 force. It's not just on Ethereum, so I guess on, on Bitcoin we have the Lightning um, sidechain, which is just a way of doing faster transactions. So effectively with a, with a sidechain all you're doing is you are sacrificing some security um, for speed, effectively. I mean, it's, you can go into more technical detail than that, but effectively that's what you're doing. So that's particularly useful for games. Um, so here we go, I'm just going to um, look at this. So this is the Plasma Chain dashboard, so Plasma Chain is the name that Loom um, use for their side chain. They've gone through various different um, names, naming uh, schemes for it. Um, and uh, and what we're going to do in this video is just do some um, staking. So uh, Loom has a token. It's an ERC20 token, so an Ethereum um, compatible token, uh, just like any other um, kind of uh, Ethereum-based project, uh, Manor or De uh, Decentraland's Manor or something like that. Um, so in order to do this staking, um, you have to have some Loom tokens. Um, now, fairly easy to um, get access to those. So um, we could just actually have a quick look, couldn't we, um, and see where we can get them. I, I can't really remember where I got mine from. So we have a look at Loom here. Um, there we go. So Loom Network. Um, so we can see the tokens are currently... Four and a half US cents, um, and here we go. So they are they're on Binance, Upbit, Lat Token. I mean, yeah, so a reasonable range of uh, places where you can get them. Obviously, you should point out at this stage. I'm not suggesting you go and um, go out and buy Loom tokens. This is certainly not investment advice. It just happens to be that I had some Loom tokens, and this kind of staking stuff um, just became available. So I thought I'd kind of test it out. Equally, you should point out, you know, staking is not something. Um, unique to Loom, there's lots of blockchains that have staking mechanics, anything that's using effectively a, a delegated, um, uh, I'll get it wrong, uh, delegated um, proof of um, proof of stake um, is going to obviously use staking. Um, so, so that's kind of um, yeah, something like Tron would use that, um, uh, and and lots of other blockchains do it. So it's not it's not particularly um, uh, innovative from that point of view, but because Loom is a, is a Technology particularly focused on games at the moment, I thought it'd be worth doing. Um, so here we go. So you have to log in. Um, so if you're a new, a new user, you kind of go through this. Um, so it's interesting uh, cr uh, account creation. So it's basically using MetaMask as the as a wallet. So you have to have your Loom in your MetaMask wallet. Um, and, and then um, effectively the kind of, I assume it's because some sort of, um, the the you're creating another internal wallet that then is going to talk to the Loom, going to talk to the MetaMask wallet and, and, and take your Loom and then stake it. So I have already got an account, so um, I'm just showing you this is obviously the, the usual 12 words you would need to, to um, you need to remember in order to create a backup for your Plasma chain. Um, this is, as I say, I've got a different one, so I will uh, just um, switch to that to show you how it works. So let's clear that one off. Okay, so when you're signed in, you can see here at the top that says Plasma Chain Dashboard Connected. Um, so we can see here, uh, these are the validators. So these are the different nodes. So there are, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 validator nodes. We can see a whole bunch of these are actually, I think these are ones that are actually owned by Loom themselves, but there's these other um, third parties um, who are now staking uh, Loom, so they have Loom of their own. Um, and some of these are uh, people like Mythos, so are kind of crypto organizations that do staking with other blockchains or plan to do that as well. So we can see here how much stake they've got. We can see actually, so I've got um, 600 Loom. This is the current balance in my connected wallet. Um, and 
this is the amount that I've got. So 0.53 is the amount that um, is currently deposited to the plasma chain, and then I've staked seven. <laughs> That's just what happened. What I happened to have in my um, in my MetaMask uh, when I first did this. So it's very simple UI. There's the validators, which we'll look at uh, in a bit more detail. There's Block Explorer, so just see what's happening um, in blocks. There's my account. Um, so we can see here. So this is what we're going to do. So um, transfer. So it sees I've got 600 Loom in my MetaMask, um, and then we're going to transfer that. We're going to deposit that. In order to delegate tokens, I first have to choose a validator, but first I have to deposit it onto the Plasma chain. So uh, these are now going to go from my MetaMask into the uh, Plasma chain. So let's see what happens. Actually, yeah, so sorry. So I have to click on use, use maximum. So the UI in this is a bit clunky to begin with because it's only just um, only just gone live. Right, so here we go. So Lumi, the little character is on it. We can see here um, the MetaMask pop up. So it's saying the 600 Lumi I've got, um, which is worth nearly $27. Um, it's going to uh, move it across, obviously, gas fee. So there we go. So obviously it's through Ethereum, it's coming out of my MetaMask wallet and then um, being deposited within the Plasma chain. And so this being Ethereum, it does take a bit of time. Please do not close or refresh your browser. So just be aware of that. Okay, so there's a bit of toing and froing um, on that, but we can now see if you look at the top of the screen, there was 600 on the main net, and now there's 600 um, was transferred to the plasma chain. Um, so that's gone through. Um, it does take a bit of time, um, and it does uh, it goes through quicker actually on EtherScan. Um, it shows faster on EtherScan than it does um, through the dashboard. So you have to be just a little bit aware. I, I got a little bit um, unsure what was going on there. Um, so you can see here there is no loom left in my uh, MetaMask. So it has gone through that, so that's okay. Um, so uh, go to my account now, so we can see here. Um, there's no, I can't transfer anything to Plasma Chain for staking. I have to go and buy some more Loom if I want to do that. But now um, I have, I can withdraw this back to MetaMask, or I can go and do some staking. So um, we want to go to validators here. And um, let's go with Mythos. So again, the UI is not very good. It doesn't show a little hand when you're when you're pressing on. It just shows the arrow. So um, I say it's a little bit clunky. So we can see here. This is the guys at Mythos. They're a staking company and a crypto um, VC. So um, you can see at the moment I've got seven Loom delegated with them. Um, so I say I don't really know what this fee thing is. I don't know um, quite what the fee is. So that's a little bit dangerous to say I'm not doing this for money. <laughs> all the all the stakers have the same fees, 25%. So um, I don't know what that is. So just yeah, bear that in mind. Um, so if I can delegate, so I have to choose now to delegate. So um, so this is again, this is a little bit clunky. It says it doesn't have a maximum button in there. Um, I say this stuff is kind of really in beta. So. It's why it's something to mess around with and not something to put your life savings in. You can mess around with the lockup bonus. So the most you have is a year and your bonuses are times four. Um, go to three months, get 1.5. Um, yeah, at the moment, it's probably sensible just to go for the two weeks, um, just to see what happens. Um, maybe Mythos will uh, will not be, um, will do something bad and I'll want to um, undelegate. So I'm going to delegate. Again, Lumi's on it. So that was quick. So you notice the difference there. That wasn't uh, MetaMask didn't pop up because basically I had I had taken my Loom from the Ethereum mainnet and put it on the Plasma chain, and then doing it on the Plasma chain. The whole point of a Plasma chain is that it's a side chain. It happens really fast. So you know Meta MetaMask might be used as a as an ID system at, at that stage, but it's um it's not it's not required because this is the whole point of using a side chain. So we can see here. Um, there is uh, the amount delegated and the updated amount, and then the time lock. Um, so it does take, I say, it does take a bit of time. So at the moment, 
This is why this stuff does, does get a bit scary. So at the moment it says in the main net I've got zero, yeah, nothing in MetaMask. My plasma chain's got the 50, got the 0.53 again, and staked it's showing seven, even though um, we're waiting for it to go. Um, and the time lock is actually, I haven't mentioned this, this little thing at the top is, is the election cycle. So this is not the same, um, but this is kind of showing the cycle of uh, validators and election going on. So obviously you have to wait um, until at least one election cycle has gone through in order for um, something to um, be validated. It's actually saying time lock, it's actually saying, you know, it's going to have to have, um, you know, a few of these cycles to go through before it's validated. So we'll just wait to see for that to go through um, and then prove it does work. Again, reiterate, don't do this with lots of money. Don't do it with money you, that matters to you if you lose it. Um, and uh, yeah, this is beta software. So, you know, it might all go horribly wrong. So actually, while we're waiting, if we look here on this, um, go to the My Delegations uh, option, we can see here, this is the guys I'm validating with. I've got seven on there at the moment. I've got 600 to update. Is a block, uh, is a time lock, and it's the state is bonding, so obviously kind of you know, pending. So um, something's happening, but we're waiting. So uh, let's see if something happens on the next election cycle. I think it might take a bit longer than that, actually. Yeah, it's actually saying, so it's saying the lock time will be 11.20, 11 11.20 20, 11 20 and 22 seconds, but at the moment we're on 11.13, so a few minutes, a few more minutes to wait. And you can see here, it's just clicking off. Another election cycle happening. So 10 minutes of election, so that's basically what it's waiting for. But actually it happened a bit quicker than I thought, so there we go. Um, so we can see here at the top, main net has nothing on, plasma chain has 0.53, and now I've staked 607. If I go back to where we were with Mythos, um, you say it's bonded, amount delegated, blah, blah, blah. So there we go. So I got there, I mean nothing happens now. <laughs> that's it folks. Um, Apart from the warm, the warm, fuzzy feeling you have in your um, in your soul that you <laughs> you've staked your loom um, to a validator, um, <laughs> obviously rewards. You have to receive any rewards because it's um, on a two-week cycle. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. I wouldn't necessarily um, suggest you you go you rush out and go and do it unless you have some loom um, already. But um, with most things in the blockchain, I find it quite interesting to um, mess around with this kind of stuff and. You don't know if it works unless you actually try it yourself. So skin in the game, as they say. Thanks for watching the video. So this is Blockchain Gaming World, where um, normally I play blockchain games. Um, but uh, obviously there's some overflow between the games and the technology at the moment. Um, and if you're kind of into that stuff, as I am, uh, worth messing around um, and, and seeing how it works. Um, or sometimes how it doesn't work. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel uh, to keep up to date with what's going on. Uh, but thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon.